Potter Weekly, you will notice I am switched around in my studio here because that is now the messy side, and this is, I spent a lot of time on this. I just wanted to show somebody, right, before the open studio tour, which is the reason why I'm cleaning up so diligently. Next Saturday and Sunday is the studio tour, and I have been working all week trying to prepare uh, all my bisque. I found bisque in boxes and I went, oh, I never glazed that. So I have a kiln load drying, or drying, cooling right now. It's at 11, 1104 degrees. And um, so I'm excited about that. This is the plan for the weekend. I'll share it really quick. Okay, so people will be able to come to the studio. I have a couple tents outside. Um, I'll have one tent that has this clay area where I'm going to make a collage with, I'm going to give everybody a little piece of clay and they can make whatever they want with it. They can sign their name. They can do whatever they want. And then at the end, uh, I'm going to have them stored and kept wet so I can put together a piece with everyone's pieces. It's going to be a collage of everyone that came to the, the event. I'm real excited about that. Uh, I'm also going to be throwing on the wheel and doing demos uh, once an hour at the o'clock hour, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock. 1 to 5 on Saturday and Sunday. And then I'm going to have, I'll be in the studio giving tours of the process. So I'll have little signs up that show the process. And I hope everybody enjoys themselves. I'll have some snacks. I'll have some music. It'll be a, a, a hop in time over here. Uh, since I am not in the city necessarily, I'm just like on the other side of the freeway here. I have a lot of space. So I hope everybody can come by and have some fun with me in my studio. I can't wait to meet anyone that wants to come by. I think it'll be a great time. So let me just share with you what I did this week in the studio, and we hope you enjoy. We, because, you know, me and my cats are in here.
got quite a few test samples in there done, which I'm excited about. And I'm glad I did it because the red one I used, I thought was red, but it was actually clear. And then when I went through, I went, it's the speedball glazes and the 2003, I believe is clear. And the two, 2015, no. <laughs> anyway, see how many pink ones are in there? Well, I thought that pink one was red. Anyway glazed those with colors, left those black and white, and I did it with black gloss glaze instead of under glaze, so we'll see how that turns out. Okay, this right here, I just put this on and I, I wanted it a little crackled but smooth on the end. I tried to come up with a, uh, a spout and I couldn't, so instead of a teapot, I made a tea pitcher. Uh, I still think it looks great. It's gonna be, to me it'll be awesome and it should pour well. I did a little, I keep fiddling with it. I don't know if I should, but I think since it's crooked, it's gonna actually pour out properly, so. I'm gonna, f I'm, I'm finally done with this. This is it, I'm done. <laughs>